We're excited and thankful to share a little of what's been happening at English at Hills this past year. Did you know that English classes have been running at Hills for over a year now? For those who aren't around the church on Wednesday mornings, here's a little snapshot of what's been going on. When we start a new job or at a new school, we're usually assigned a buddy on our first day or week to help us find our way and settle into the new workplace or school. English classes offer that kind of help to migrants, help to settle into life in Australia. The difference is that some of our students have been living in Australia close to 20 years now without much help. English classes help bridge the gap between isolation and being part of the community. Linda is a beginner uh, in, in a beginning class. Yeah. And uh, before he came to Australia, he, he didn't know any English. So, but now it's, uh, it's getting better. Uh, I really like his English because here I can not only learn English, but also uh, making a lot of friends from a variety of countries. Uh, his English make my life happy. The English class organizers or artists are very wonderful people. They did all they could to improve our English skills as much as possible. Through learning very useful day-to-day -day subjects such as driving rules and regulations and so many things like that. We are grateful for their uh, efforts and we thanks them. I'm Ijaz and study English. The teacher is very kind. English classes provide a safe space for students to practice speaking in English, build relationships, build confidence, have fun, learn about Australian culture and receive help on navigating life here. We're now averaging about 20 students a week and about five students at our Bible story in classes. We also have monthly cooking classes on a Thursday and we have volunteers meeting with students for speaking practice as an English buddy. It's been an enjoyable year seeing the students coming on Wednesday morning and watching the deepening relationship between helpers and students grow. Hi everyone, I'm Lynne and I'm so thrilled to be joining English class every Wednesday. Um, what English class really meant to me is that whatever little input that I put into this wonderful ministry, may it shine the fruit of the Spirit. The good news is if you want to help people learn English, you only need two qualifications. You need to be able to speak English and you need to be able to smile. After that, it all works out. But I just am overwhelmed by how much I learn every day while the students are saying, they're so grateful for the English classes. I'm so grateful for being able to be involved in their lives and to learn more about their culture and their faith. It's fantastic. I love ESL because um, you meet a ridiculous number of really interesting people. Um, it's people from all over the world, but it's also all different walks of life. You've got people who They've come over for work or for business or something like that. Then you've got people who've come over to be with their families or to help raise their kids and things like that. So um, you meet this huge variety of interesting people and I really enjoy um, seeing the enjoyment that they get out of learning more about how to speak English and how to um, fit in with Australian culture in a lot of cases. The thing that I like most about serving here in English class is that it's a preview of the future when the Lord's work is finished, that he will have people from every tongue, tribe, and nation that are a part of his family. And to be a part of what he is doing is a great joy. And it expands our knowledge, you know. So I think coming to class is not only teaching you, but you're teaching me so much culture that I didn't know about from your country. And it's been a very much, a, it broadened my mind to understand other cultures more, much better.
for praying for the English classes, for our students and volunteers, and for everything else that's going on through the week as we meet with the students. It's exciting to see our international friends coming here on Sunday morning now. Thank you for embracing them as Jesus would.